Okay, we had the new parts come through from the factory. We'll get them on the car ahead of FP1. Yeah, man. Freshies. So we got our engine power and we got our turbocharger upgrade as well. Whoever looks this is gonna be good in Baku. So uh all is good. So welcome along to uh video number four, round number four from uh, Azerbaijan. Uh I suppose while we're here, time to take a look at the points. Uh as you see after Sebastian Vettel's DNF in uh, excuse me, China. The lead is down to two points ahead of Kimi Raikkonen, uh, five ahead of Valtteri Bottas, Hamilton in fourth, and then it's Danny Ricciardo, Nico Hülkenberg after that fourth place finish in uh, China. Uh, followed by Max Verstappen, Kevin Magnussen, Carlos Sainz, and Roman Grosjean rounding out your top ten. And we are 13th and last of the point scorers. The people who haven't scored a point yet, who haven't scored a point yet? Uh, Stroll, Ericsson, Hartley, Van Dorn, Leclerc, Gasly, and Alonso. Which all sound pretty regular throughout the season. Uh, now I heard that ICE is dying away a bit. Hopefully it'll last. Uh, what, what's the gearbox like? That uh, gearbox looks alright. But uh, we're going to make this last now. For how, how many races are we going to make that last? I, I imagine we're going to make it okay, last six uh, races. Which uh, which won't be good. So it's on to Azerbaijan. We've got uh, that coming in Spain. Might see if we can get some more upgrades for uh, for Spain. It's all looking good so far. Uh, we are the second driver in the team, but we're easily beating Stroll. So uh, we're going to get practiced, and then we're going to go out and uh, get qualified. Hopefully, we can uh, have the result like we had in China, but not a race like we had in China, because that uh, that did kind of suck, didn't it? So uh, we'll go practice, and then uh, it's off to the race. Whoops! All right, qualifying. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this car sucks ass. We are really, really, really... Can we go down anymore? Yeah, we can go down more, that's alright. We're, we're really going to struggle here, I think. If we get out of Q1, I'll be happy with that. But, uh, I, honestly, I don't know. We, we could get out of Q1, we could not get out of Q1. So let's see. We've really lightened the car up on the fuel as well, so... It's going to be all or nothing for one lap. Just doesn't turn in turn one at all. It doesn't want to turn in turn for it to who either. Good lord. Well, I don't know who will be racing against today, but it certainly won't be any of the uh, good cars, that's for sure. There we go. Now we got some. There we go. Now we've got the pressures up. Oh, wow. The car felt very floaty going into that chicane. Honestly, I think we were about what? We we're about 0.3 three seconds off the pace with this setup. And it was so bad, I think even Lance was beating us, so we forgot that about that corner. Look at that already, we're two seconds off the pace. 
We're going to be down towards the back of the pack here somewhere. Yeah, as long as we beat the McLarens, I'll be happy with that. And we can't even beat Van Dorn. So, uh, let's see how we're doing. Where are we? There. Look, even Stroll's beaten us. Stroll is major league fast. Let's see where we are about five second, five minutes of the session to go. <coughs> uh, I think we're last, aren't we? You know, we're 18th. I can't remember where our goal is. Where is our goal? Where do you want us to qualify? I don't know. We think we may see some rain. ETA is about 15 minutes. Hmm, that's interesting. Right, so let's get a new fresher set of supers on. Ultras on, sorry. And let's go and give it one more go. And if we if we don't do it, we don't do it. <clears throat> we'll just have to suck balls in the race. But the fact there's rain coming, I might be interested. That, that power upgrade's doing nothing for us, then. We have two laps of fuel remaining. Yes, I heard you. We have two, two laps of fuel. All I need is two laps. Well, one lap. Forgot about the DRS, then. That was much better in turn one. Much, much better. And much better in turn three as well. Two, I should say, sorry. wants to understeer through that uh. <clears throat> we gotta do the last sector of our mm. life now Come on! We are pretty quick in the last sector. Let's see if we can... See if we can at least jump Van Dorn. We're stalling out. I think we're out. We didn't even jump Van Dorn. Well, that well and truly blows. Oh, well, at least we'll get our uh, setup choice. How come we didn't beat Van Dorn? We went two temps faster. He used to set a faster lap. Ah oh, well. It is what it is. We'll, uh, we just have to suck in uh, the qualifying and hope uh, we get a good race. See, uh, see what happens. You win that one, Lance. At least we've got a participation bonus. Well done. That was a good qualifying performance. 
See, you see 18th as good. I see 18th as, well, rubbish. Although it's, we are expected to qualify 19th and race 19th, so... I mean, we'll get what? We'll get... Good, I'll hold flat out, yep. Pay attention to the spacer. Oh, you're going to need... Don't forget to drink. Oh, I got no time for a drink around here, my friend. Uh, so let's uh, let's race. Let's see what uh, what happens during the race. Good afternoon and welcome to Baku. This was the arena, if you think back to 2017, of one of the most eventful races of modern history, with controversy behind the safety car, last second overtakes, and a historic podium for Williams and for Lance Stroll. So let's find out what lies in store no for us this year. Lance always goes well it's around here. For the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. ready to go then and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas the fin starts from pole position with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside Looking so down Bottas the rest on of the pole grid, we have Raikkonen Verstappen Daniel Ricciardo and where the hell's Hamilton Perez Alonso, did Hamilton uh, Sainz, get penalties Gasly Magnussen Lewis Hamilton no, he did. taken a grid penalty and Leclerc Stroll Ocon Stoffel Van Dorn and Poole Hartley and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Keep your eyes open on the run to turn one and keep it clean. We want to come out in one piece. Good luck. Right. Now. I know what I'm going to do. I think that strategy is alright. So we'll go, with, uh, we'll go with that. So let's see... Uh, Let's see what happens in the race, shall we? Uh, I'm aiming to beat the McLarens today. Well, yeah, you can't see it outside of these cars, can you? I'm aiming to beat at least the McLarens. See if we can uh, do that. Because we were close to Van Dorn. So uh, let's see if we can beat them. Okay, so that was a pretty decent start. Look at us getting punchy. There's Leclerc. So we've got past Stroll That's somewhere. A decent start. Good job. No! Oh, hello, we're past Hamilton. And, well, Hamilton's just put us in the wall. Mind that front wing. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. Ah, oh, ooh, well, that's got to be a red flag, surely. Safety car deployed. The safety car has been deployed. Are you all right? Engine <laughs> off. Engine what off. The hell? What the hell happened down here? Oh, come on, Hartley. Rookie move. Red flag. Okay, here we go. Got a better start. No, we got a terrible start that time. Let's see if we can send it. No, we do send it. No, we got a good. Uh, oh, oh, who's that? We'll try to stay away from Hamilton. Oh, wow, look at that move on Magnuson. Oh, rip teammate. We've got Gasly now as well. We are fighting. Lance has dropped out of the race. Well, Lance is an idiot. Yeah, single file through here, lads.
can't go uh, much further than that. We'll try and stay out of Magnuson's way. But look at us punching above our weight. If we can stay with Sainz, we might be able to get him down into the first... Uh, down into the first corner. There's a point right in front of us there. I think we're going to be defending off uh, K-Mag in a minute. It's bumping up. Yeah, we're defending off K-Mag here. Look at, Look at this. No, he's going to stick in behind us here. Where do we go? Try the outside? Super socks for us. See if we can beat Alonso. Love it if we could beat Alonso for a point. Well, there's Van Dorn in the pits. I'd be comfortable with a P11. This wasn't uh, expected of us, so. Uh, okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the ICE. Be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. Well, that was to be expected. As we fight the car out of that turn six seven chicane. I'll tell you what, we're starting to drop Magnus in here. I didn't expect uh, that we'd be doing that as we come in to this now. I want to get close to Alonso, definitely. we got to beat uh, this fanboy. But uh, he just has the grunt out of... Uh... Turn... Uh, whatever turn that was, 18, I think. No, it can't be, that's turn 17. There's a good battle going on the front. DRS is now enabled and will be available to use when you are within one second of the car ahead in the DRS zone. It'd be nice if we had DRS right about now. But we don't. So we just have to rely on our battery and our whatever. Although to be fair, that's gonna be running out in a minute. I think we've settled down now. We'll get into that usage on the battery. Try charge the battery up a bit the more. Is low on energy. Reduce the RS deployment. Jeez, we almost uh, came a cropper there. Who's this behind us? Pierre Gasly. Come on in. Let's see if uh, that Honda's got anything for us. Wouldn't it just be hilarious if it did? He's going to have DRS, so we've got to get moving and get gone. Are we in this lap? No, I think it's next lap we're in. Look at that, I'm being owned by a Honda! Push now, we're boxing this lap. Oh, get out of the way. Excuse you, Gasly. <sighs> That was all Gasly's fault. Oh, oh, who is that? That's Ocon. Engine is looking a little worn. Power output will be less than optimal. A bleep fanboy Ocon. Be 
careful with the front wing, you've taken some minor damage. Really? I didn't know that. It only came up yellow. Did you all see that light then? They're all... Oh no! Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Uh, yes Got please. Confirmed. We're gonna okay, need... you have wing damage. This will be a major performance impact unless you box for a new one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to box for a new one, aren't I? That's gonna... that's gonna hurt us. We'll come at 18th. Uh, we are running so well. Ooh, we almost get to the wall. We're staying on the right here, left here. So, uh, anyone who wants to overtake... Look at this, they're, they're piloting behind me. Have to replace the wing first. Release, release. So I imagine we're going to lose. Oh, we've lost the spot to Van Dorn. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. So, let's see what we can do. Who's this behind us? Someone behind me, it's Ericsson. How did we how did we beat Marcus Ericsson at the pits? Oh well we did, let's just uh, accept that for what it is. Mind you, we were faster than Ericsson in uh, qualifying, so... Battery charge is low. If we turn down the ERS deployment, we can harvest more energy. I know, I know. Don't want to harvest some energy. I'll harvest some energy. Don't worry. I don't know if we're going to beat Van Dorn this weekend. Oh, somebody, we've got yellow flag coming up here. Somebody's uh, had a bit of an issue. The Stappen sets the uh, fastest lap of the race. Yellow flag. Why have we got a yellow? Why have we got a yellow? Somebody's going slow. Who's this going slow? That's Hamilton. Greg, we're going to beat Hamilton this weekend. Ericsson wants to come past, yeah, it ain't happening. Okay, clear. Major League rip on Hamilton. We beat someone else out the pits as well. We're gonna... Oh, Vettel's out! Sebastian Vettel dominates the first two races and now that's two DNFs in a row. We are having a pretty good race now because we're up into 15th. We've got Gasly and Ericsson behind us. So even if we finish in front of them, we'll still finish. Oh, now we've lost Marcus Ericsson. This race is turning into a race of attrition. I imagine everyone's running the super soft jet, so uh, let's shut up about that, shall we? You know, if you look here, the uh, the cars up ahead they're pretty even out. How close is Gasly? Not close enough. So I'm alright to harvest a bit of energy this lap. There's Bottas out in the lead. 
Raikkonen, Matt, Verstappen. So these cars make two stop, you know. There might be an opportunity to pick up a few more places. In fact, we have picked up a place. Somebody else uh, pitted there. Who was that? Some information on Ocon. They have some kind of mechanical problem. Oh, that's brilliant. So Ocon should be out the race. Ocon, Ocon. Oh, crap. Woo. That chicane is lethal. Let's turn up the ERS deployment and burn some of this energy. I'll gladly do that for you. Oh, and I've hit the wall again. Mind that front wing. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. Oh, damn it. So we might lose uh, this place to Gasly. And then we'll find out who this guy is behind you. It might be. Oh, if he wants it, he's got to go uh, outside. But we've got the legs on this Honda. is 4.3 seconds. We got the legs on that Honda, I tell ya. He's got DRS uh, this lap. I, I went for DRS then, that was stupid. I think the danger is over now. Well, the danger is over four now, I should say. We set our fastest first sector. With wing damage, folks. I wonder if that's uh, Ricardo behind uh, Gasly. It is Ricardo. Oh, I thought I hit the wall then. We'll uh, hit the old uh, hot lap button and uh, keep these two behind us. Ricardo and Gasly are having a good fight here. We've pretty much burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. Uh, I'm not going to turn the engine down, not with these two fanboys behind me. Oh, look at Gasly with a run. If he runs, he'll bring Ricardo with him. We'll go three wide in a minute into turn one. Or will we? Here comes Gasly. What are you going to do, Gasly? You're going to bang wheels with us into the first corner. That uh, screwed you over. You could deal with Danny Rick now. We have five laps of fuel remaining. I'm, I'm so glad we have five laps of fuel remaining, Jeff. Could you uh, could you tell that to the Red Bull behind me? Okay, gap ahead is 4.8 seconds. Hey, well, Magnussen's, uh, sorry, Ocon not uh, disappearing as quickly as uh, a thought. Mind you, he's got that mechanical issue, hasn't he? Let's see what these two fanboys are going to do behind me. Have they sorted it out now behind me? Not really. We are, if we are catching off on with that mechanical problem. 
That's a good thing for us. Now let's see where Gasly is. Gasly's not close. He might have to fend off Ricardo here. Yeah, he's trying to fend off Ricardo. Reduce the ERS deployment, please. We need to charge the battery. I'll charge the battery in a minute. Shut up. I'm trying to catch Ock on here. We've got this uh, mechanical issue. Well, unfortunately, there's just nowhere for me to turn this... There we go, we can turn it down now. So we are definitely catching knock on with this mechanical problem. Where to God that castle section's got scarier. That's what I like. That's the way. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, I like it. Oh, who was that? Bloody Gasly, the fanboy. Your front wing is damaged. Expect a lot of understeer unless we replace it. What the hell are you doing, Pierre? There's three laps of fuel remaining. See, now I'm going to be fodder for Pierre Gasly and Danny Ricardo. But he can't overtake me. Try as he might, he's trying to overtake me, but we're going to try and finish this race with this uh, wing in the state that it's in. What an idiot Gasly is. He'll never make the uh, Red Bull team with stupid mistakes like that. It's all Gasly's fault, ladies and gentlemen. But you notice we are catching Ocon, even with a damaged front wing. So Ocon's problem must be Major League. Oh, we have to go like that. Oh, we got major understeer through the fast corners. Oh, Gasly got a penalty for what he did. He's such an a-hole. Jesus Christ, you don't want to be understeering through there. But we did. And we had to back out and we bounce off the wall. That's going to give fanboy Gasly a run. But here comes Ricardo. We're going to be free wide into the first corner if they're not careful. It's a Gasly Pits. Well, that's good. I've got rid of Gasly. Tell you what, if Ricardo wants it, I'll uh, I'll let Ricardo have the position because uh, I'm not I'm not here to race Ricardo. Meant to annoy him, maybe, maybe, but uh, certainly not racing. We're definitely catching off on, unless that's a uh, red herring. He sees, has his mechanical issue, I don't know what it is. See what uh, Ricardo does. He's not catching as his uh, Danny Rick. Two laps of fuel left. That's fine. 
Two laps is more than enough for me. We'll get it into overtake. See if we can uh, do a proper pass on Ocon. He's really dropping off the pace here with Esteban Ocon. So are we? We've, we've, yeah, I'm not even going to fight Danny Rick. If he wants the position, let him have it. Because I'm not going to fight him. But look at this, we've got the feet of this Renault engine, I tell you. and bring home P14. I wonder if Ricardo's got a problem. Just stick it in Rich and bung it around the whole lap. That's going to be Raikkonen heading towards race victory. No, Bottas wins. Bottas, uh, the winner of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. GG. We're having a good fight here with Danny Ricardo, I tell you. We're not going to catch up on. So we just got to pump everything into holding off Danny Rick for 14th place. We'll finish 14th but best 15th. Come on then, it's a drag race to the line. Who will get it, Mercedes or Hunt or Renault? It's going to be close. It's gonna be on the line and he spins me on the line you okay pick up rubber and bring it home oh danny rick spins me on the line so mercedes have won it and what a great race it was yes it was a good race for the uh, mercedes team there bottas with the victory set themselves apart from the pack today the difference was clearly in the strategy you could tell they'd done a lot of work on the pit wall to really optimise each stint and get the most out of the tyres. And it highlights just how much of a team sport this really is. Um, but credit to the driver as well though, there's no good having a well-oiled machine behind the scenes without a talented hand on the wheel, of course. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled well, yeah, it's here Kimmy with so a smile on his face. And it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes then are on top today. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Valtteri Bottas takes the lead of the driver's championship. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? I'm going to say Brendan Hartley. It was probably one of his best drives this season, and I was thoroughly impressed. On to the constructors then. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. So yeah, that Bottas would have win. Raikkonen, Verstappen, Carlos Sainz with a fourth place for Renault. That's a fine finish. And Perez there was McLaren with Alonso, Leclerc for Sauber, Hulkenberg, Haas and Van Dorn. Stuff and Van Dorn getting a point. So close to Brendan Hartley to getting a point. We finished 14th. Ahead of we finished ahead of Ricardo. I think that's uh, that's a fine result. Uh, Ericsson, Vettel, Hamilton, and Stroll did not finish the race. Unlucky for them. 
So let's take a look at the standings. And Valtteri Bottas takes over your championship lead from Kimi Raikkonen. Seb Vettel moves down to third with Hamilton in fourth. Hulkenberg, Verstappen, Ricardo, Sainz, Magnussen, Perez round out your top ten. Where did we drop to? We must have dropped to 16th. We're 69 points behind. Whoever giggled then, I'm going to smack you. Hartley, Gasly, Stroll and Ericsson are the only ones yet to score. And uh, as you were at the uh, Constructors, except for Sauber and McLaren moving above ourselves. Which uh, I'm really not happy about there. Well, at least Toro Rosso are the only ones that haven't scored. So, uh, I imagine Claire's going to have a few questions for us. And uh, we'll see you back Amazing at the shop. performance out there. You must be really happy. Yes. You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? You were cutting your way through the field during the race. Uh Yes. Do you think you were lucky not to end your race with that crash? Uh we need more downforce. Appreciate your time. What's the matter, Lance? Did you not finish? <laughs> Sucker. See if I get enough to get another upgrade. I certainly do. Now, and we got the team goal as well. Reputation of the. Our rep with McLaren went down and Toro Rosso and Ferrari. In fact, they went down with everybody, so uh, I don't think there's a few people happy with us. Oh, Great now work. this is That's neat. exactly the kind of result I'm looking for. Keep it up. Oh, we can start a contract negotiation. All right, then. I'm, I'm happy. Let's, uh, let's start a contract negotiation. It's time negotiation. to your contract. Here you can see the current deal. Once negotiations begin, the team will make you an offer. You can accept if you like, but I strongly suggest we push for better terms. Okay, that's fine. So, what can we do? We can... Well, I want, I want resource points, definitely. So, if we go resource points... Um, I, I don't want first driver personally, I want to stay second driver. Although to be fair, first driver over Lance would be nice. If we finish there, qualify there, medium team goal. Um, let's see how that works. Propose that contract. We're asking for too much here. Ooh, we that failed. Compromises. Okay. That's fair enough. So. Let's go back to being second driver. With. Without the pit stop efficiency. Let's see what that how it does. They didn't like those terms. Oh. Oh, they didn't like them terms. Okay. <laughs> so I've only got one more go at this. Well, I need the upgrade speed. Do I need that? No, I don't think we need that at the moment. So let's try that one. Okay. That yes, there good. we go. It seems all parties are happy with the deal. So it'll commence the next race weekend. Fantastic. New contract. While we're at it, let's go and uh, get some resource points. Oh yes, we can 
definitely you do with that. But I, I think I want some aero or chassis. I want some chassis, definitely. This would be ready for when uh, Monaco. Oh dear. Oh dear. They, they, well, they're not happy. They're miffed. Well, I definitely want a chassis upgrade for Monaco. 100%. Um, can we get a powertrain upgrade? No, I don't think we can get any more upgrades. Okay. So, that'll do it. So, yeah, we're going to head off to the next weekend. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. I thought that was rather entertaining there, especially with uh, Danny Rick towards the end. And uh, we shall see you side by side into the first corner at uh, the Circuit de Catalunya Barcelona. So, take care, and we'll see you next time.